I think the NIR is a very important tool in um, getting an evaluation of the silage quality uh, for the farmer. Quick analysis at low cost, um, that, that has become the standard. I think it's uh, adding value by fine-tuning the operations uh, because uh, it's much tougher environment now than it used to be 10-15 years ago. There's very little room for economic experimentation at the farm. So you need to be sharp in what you're doing. And I think that the NRS uh, equipment can uh, aid in, in being sharper in determining the accurate uh, forage quality so that you can formulate the correct type of rations. At the larger farms in the United States, um, the farmers take silent samples every day um, because it's too costly not to know uh, the size quality accurately. Um, by chancing of thinking that you have some type of quality that you don't, maybe. You also have uh, plant breeders, for example, um, that harvest maybe a tenth of, uh, tens of thousands of plots each year. Um, and, and they look at, for example, uh, different grass varieties, where they want to see if there are some differences in the quality of fiber, protein, and so on. They also have more or less a standard now NRS equipment mounted on them on the harvesters so that they, they can get a very quick estimate of what's going on with our varieties. Uh, it will shorten the time for them to make the selection of the most appropriate varieties. The type of analysis that are conducted um, would be the fermentation profiles, so it would be the fatty acids, lactic acid, acetic acid, butyric acid. Uh, you would also take standard analysis such as uh, sugar, protein, uh, fibers, NDF, ADF. You would estimate the digestibility. Um, that's very different from country to country, but um, you would try to make some estimation of the energy concentration of the silage. Um, then, it's not really known to me, but what I can see from the analytical sheets I receive from laboratories, I can see that the pH values, for example, are not uh, used um, by NIRS. They, they, they're, they're determined separately. I, I think it would be nice to have some type of analysis where you can get a complete picture in one go. If you have some NIRS equipment that where you can get the results already at the silo, uh, it would be benefit for the farmer. Uh, the farmer would have a much closer relationship to his samples rather than waiting for maybe a week. That is fairly common um, when, when you take NRS um, sample at the farm, send it into the lab, you dry the sample, uh, and then you get the, um, the results. In some cases, some laboratories they have some of these speed results, so you can get results back in maybe two or three days. We'd also like to get some more um, analysis based on hygiene, um, which to best of my understanding is not really done by NRS yet, s such as determining the, the concentration of Clostridia, yeast and molds, uh, because th these are very important parameters uh, in the silage. The volatile fatty acids, for example, they are not accurately determined because they're simply volatilized when the samples have been dried. And as far as I understand, um, analyzing wet forage samples or silage samples are much less accurately done by the NIRS uh, than the dried samples, dried ground samples. So, of course, that, that's a challenge. Uh, I think that uh, s some of the other challenges that you may find uh, would be uh, the new type of analysis that the more progressive farmers uh, use today, and that would be dynamic degradation uh, or degradation profiles. We are interested in uh, degradation curves of fibers or, or proteins uh, because uh, in the new feed evaluation systems, uh, for example in the, the Nordic countries uh, we have a, a feed evaluation system called Norf, uh, NORFOR uh, which takes into account um, the combination of different feeds uh, before you can estimate a value of that feed. Uh, and but uh, if you could make better use of the NRS equipment, you could also make better use of that dynamic system. And in these dynamic systems today, it becomes more and more important to, to look at uh, the degradation profile of NDF fiber, for example. Um,
So what happens after NDF has been digested for 24 hours, 48 hours and so on. And this is a challenge because today the, uh, the reference method for uh, these degradation profiles um, include the use of um, nylon bags that you, you put ground dried samples of, of the forage into nylon bags and then you digest the samples uh, over different time periods in the rumen of, an, uh, of a cow or sheep. And the, uh, the ideal thing of course would be to get rid of the rumen and only analyze the samples directly and, and try to pick up uh, these degradation profiles without going through the degradation process over time.